Hi everyone, I'm Dashni Ramu. Uh, today we like to talk about uh, some topics from th cartography, which is ge geographic coordinate, planetary coordinate, data, map projection, coordinate system, WGS84, RSO, uh, Cassini solder, and Malaysia re revised tri triangular system. So let's go to the topic. Next slide. So firstly, we're going to see modeling the Earth. What is the modeling Earth? Earth is not per perfect sphera. It is an oblate spheroid. Different spheroids have been derived, de devised to model the Earth. They are distin distinguished by the length of their axis. Geographic coordinate is the location are defined on a 3D spherical surface made up of graticals rather than grid cells units in degree. Geographic coordinate is not uniform. The distance and measure are not accurate. Meridians coverage near poles one degree longitude, the equator is 111 kilometer. Degree, 60 degree latitude is equal to 55.8 kilometer. 90 degree latitude is equal to zero kilometer. Use decimal degrees, angles, three digit or less north for North America. North America, west of, west of the prime median, so longitude x is negative, north of the equator, so latitude y is positive. Conversion between degrees, minutes, seconds, and decimal degree. G software takes geographic coordinate in decimal degrees, not degree, minutes, seconds. Divide each value by the number of the minutes or seconds in a degree, for example, 37 degree is equal to 36, 30. Divide 36 minutes by 60. Uh, and we get the answer. 30 divided by 3600 is equal to 00833. So 37 degree plus 60, 0083 is equal to 37.60833 degree DB, degree Components of geographic coordinate system. Geographic coordinate system includes of data, an angular unit of measure, degree, prime, median, meridian. Datum described. Here the datum are described for the geographic coordinate where it's linked a spirite to a location on the earth. Define the origin and orientation of the coordinate system used to map the Earth. The data, a data is a fixed 3D surface and oblate spheroid that is approximately the size and space shape of the Earth. From the surface, latitude, longitude, and elevation are computed. The spheroid is an Earth model. A datum is a practical application of the model. The sp a spheroid model of the Earth is fixed to, to a base point. For example, the UGS, US, USGS decided that the CLEC 1866 spheroid has a good approximation for the shape of the Earth within the US. Hence, they linked it to meet a uh, range K cancers. We have, we also have NAC 27. So next we're going to talk about plane, plane metric coordinate. So plane metric coordinate are often called as easting and northing. They are they are the result of the cartographic projection from 3D geodetic coordinates into a 2D card Cartesian space space x y on a map. The okay. 
how do we can get a datum? So here, to determine latitude and longitude, survivors level their measurements down to a surface called a geodite. The geodite is the shape that the Earth would have if all its topography were removed or more accurately, the shape of the Earth would have if every point on the Earth's surface had the value of mean sea level. Geodesics and survivors utilize datums to produce starting or reference points for food, for food flu, flood plain maps, property borders, building survivors, leaf designs, and other tasks that require precise, consistent coordinates. In the U.S., there are two main datums. Vertical datums are used to measure land elevation and water depths, whereas horizontal datums are used to measure positions where latitude and longitude on the Earth's surface. The horizontal datum is a series of unique phases on the Earth whose latitude and longitude have been precisely calculated by NOAA's National Geodetic Survey. The, geo the horizontal datum is used to monitor the movement of the Earth's crust or, for example, this form of monitoring is commonly utilized in earthquakes Brown areas such as California San Andreas Fault. A collection of precise sites on the Earth with, no, with known heights either above or below a national defined difference surface realize, re, realizes the vertical datum in a similar way, for example, mean sea level. Land elevations are usually expressed using geodetic vertical datums. Water level datums, on the other hand, are slightly different vertical datums that are used to reference biometric so soundings for nautical charts. Geodetic surveys at tidal gorges can be used to convert between the two. Horizontal versus vertical datums. Horizontal datum, horizontal datum are the reference value for a system of location measurement, for example, latitude or longitude. The horizontal datum is the model used to measure position of the Earth. Vertical datum, uh, vertical datum are the reference value for a system of elevation measurements. A vertical datum is used for measuring the elevations of points of the Earth's surface, either tidal level based on the sea level. Tidal datum um, is gra gra gravimetric based on the geodetic or geo geod or geodetic based on the same ellipsoid models of the earth used for computing or horizontal datum. The figure it shows the tidal datum. So here we can see the definition of elevation, whereas elevation is measured from the geodite. So currently, NOAA and partners are now working on three major datums, which is US and Canadian partners are undertaking a multi-year initiative to update the international Great Lake datums. This update will deliver more accurate about the sea level measurements throughout the Green Lakes. Then scientists with the Center of Operational Ocean Tropic product and service are updating the National Tidal Datum Epoch, the framework used to measure water levels along U.S. coast. This update will help improve navigation safety, storm search predictions, sea level monitoring, and ecosystem research.
Scientists at the National Geodetic Survey are working on a long-term project to make accurate height measurement better, faster, and cheaper. This project is called the Gravity for, for the Redefinitions of the American Vertical Datum or Grave D for the short. When it is completed, users will able to get accurate height to within about an inch for most location around the nation. So that's all for me. Uh, next, we'll, I'm giving to Dashni Kalemin. Number four is map, map projection. Map projection is the method of transferring the critical of latitude and longitude on a plane surface. It can also be defined as the transformation of spherical network of parallels and meridians on a plane surface. Earth shape is like a sphere. Globe is the best model of the Earth. The globe is divided into various segments by the lines of latitude and longitude. The horizontal lines represent the parallels of the of latitude and the vertical lines represent the meridians of the longitude. The network of parallels and meridians is called reticule. This network facilitates a uh, drawing of maps. Drawing of the reticle on a flat surface is called projection, but a globe has many limitation, limitation. There are four elements of map projection. First is reduced earth. A model of the earth is represented by the lab help of, of a reduced scale on a flat sheet of paper called reduced earth. It should be a more or less sephiroid having the length of polar diameter lesser than equatorial and on this model the network of reticule can be transferred. Second is parallels of latitude. These are the circles running around the globe parallels to the equator and maintaining uniform distance from the pole. Each parallel lies wholly in its pl plane uh, which is at right angle to the axis of the earth and they are not of equal length. The range from a point at each pole is circumference of the globe at the equator. The demarcated or S, 0 degree to 90 degree north and south latitude. Third is meridians of longitude. These are semicircle drawn in a north-south direction from one pole to the other. And the two opposite meridians can meridians make a complete circle. Each properties of the global surface are to be preserved by using one or the other methods. For example, distance, distance between any given points of a region, shape of region, size or area of the region in accuracy, direction of any one point of the region bearing to another point. Uh, there are four types of map projections. First is planar, azimuthal or zenithal projection. This projection allows a flat, flat sheet of to touch with the globe with the light being cast from certain positions, including the center of the earth opposite to the tangent area and from infinity distance. Uh, this projection classified into three types. Uh, first is pneumonic neum projection, stereographic projection, and orthographic projection. The pneumonic projection is its origin of light at the center of the globe. Lesser than half of the sphere can be projected into a finite map. It displays all the large circles or as straight lines and parallels as curved lines. This, projection, this type of map projection is not suitable for a large and wide area. Second is stereographic projection. Its origin of light on the globe surface opposite to the tangent area. Tangent point. The created curve, curved line will be defined on more than half of the sphere. The meridians are straight lines adjacent to one other 
one another in central area become more widely spaced at the map periphery while the parallels are circled third is orthographic projection originated from a made up scenario that if the light is cast straight past the globe toward a flat sheet that touches the polar regions the equatorial regions or certain areas above the globe surface only a hemisphere of the globe will be depicted the scale of is most accurate at the tangent area the the more distant it is the from tangent points the more errors will occur this type of map projection is commonly used for the earth mapping second is conic projection this projection projection uses a conic surface to touch the globe when light is cast when the cone is unrolled the meridians will be in semicircle like the ribs of a fan the tangent areas of conic projection can be classified as central con conical projection or a tangent con a section second conical projection and polyconic projection first central conic projection is seated a cone over a globe then cast the light with the axis of the cone overlapping that of a globe of tangent points then this uh, projection is applicable for um, for the mapping of a narrow long shaped space and east west direction a uh, second a conical projection is uses a conical surface to intersect the surface of a globe creating two tangent points and subsequently two parallels this increases accuracy around the tangent areas third is polyconic projection this projection seated a series of cones over a globe with a axis of each cone lapping over the axis of a globe creating parallels in the equal number of number to that of the tangent cones common this projection is commonly used for map making uh, map making in a, an area that extends in north south direction number 3 is a uh, cylindrical projection this projection used a cylinder as a tangent surface that wraps around a globe or to intersect the globe at certain position if the cylinder is unrolled into a flat sheet the parallels and meridians will be straight lines that created the right angle angles where the intersects intersect each other the project display direction and shape correct, uh, correctly the area close the tangent points will be more accurate the more distant as it is from tangent points the more distortions will be shown this type of projection is is typically used to map the world in particular areas between 80 degrees north and 80 degrees south latitudes number 4 is a mathematical or conventional projection there are three types of projection uh, first is molly white a homolographic projection this projection is initiated by carl b molyvoy in 1805 this projection is used to display different different parts of the earth the equator is a straight horizontal line intersecting the central meridians at a right angle other meridians are curved line while the parallels are straight lines this advantage of this distortion at the earth's polar region but uh, there are more scale accuracy in equatorial region second is sinusoidal projection or samson flamsteed projection all the parallels are straight lines perpendicular to a uh, central meridians while other lines are curved like those in the molly mollyweed projection the values of sinus a uh, curve are used to create a meridians making the meridians spacing wider than that of the molly white projection third is homolocene projection 
equal area projection is combination of the homolographic and the sinusoidal. Normally, the sinusoidal projection is applied between the 40 degrees south and 40 degrees north latitudes. Grafted to the homolographic in the areas out of the above mentioned region. As the two projections cannot match perfectly, small kinks are seen on the meridians where the two projections match. Number five is coordinated system. A coordinate system is great grid used to identify the location on the paper, on a paper or screen that are equivalent to grid location on the globe. The coordinates are X and Y pairs that are based on some universal origin point for reference. The mostly common use is latitude and longitude. Latitude and longitude refer the degree, minutes, and seconds of arc from reference lines that run east-west uh, latitude equator or north-south longitude prime meridian. Map will display uh, the coordinate system and data on a flat surface such as a piece of paper or a digital screen. Mathematical calculations are used to convert the coordinate system used on the curved surface of a earth to one for a flat surface. Number six is World Geocentric System, WGS84. A conventional terrestrial reference uh, system, CTRS, is, it has a right-handed, earth-fixed, orthogonal coordinate format. The system origin also serves as a geometric center of the WGS84 ellipsoid and the z-axis serves as the rotational axis of the of this ellipsoid of revolution. Established in 1987 with the intent of aligning with the Borio uh, in International DIA rule, VIH terrestrial system, also known as BTS reference frame. Initial accuracies of the reference frame were, were 1 to 2 meters. Ongoing refine, refinement of was uh, important to the NGA teams and development continued. Environmental change changes in updated models and methods have begun to make discrepancies in the relationship between the reference frames. So improvements have been made to cause the peri periodic changes to the WGS84 frame. The intent and result of each revision has begun, uh, have been to improve its accuracy and precision. So applying cons constraints to WGS84 in order to align it ITRF result in maintaining continuity with other GNSS worldwide. With this latest version to the WGS84 reference frame, WGS84 reference uh, G1762, the transformation between a transfer, transformation differences with the international GNS GS service uh, IGB08 are uh, essentially zero. User of the latest version of WGS84 can use the data in its original state to translate the two international measurements when necessary. It allows uh, exiting a co collection of geospatial data to retain its value and not to subject to transformation or additional computer. For measure reverse translation, uh, measure reverse translation or RBT is one of the existing local translations uh, system that used in Malaysia. Uh, starting uh, with the utility data, uh, we realized or uh, at the moment uh, they realized by system lane regulation network. Uh, so 
What is strangulation? Strangulation is a measurement of at least a base length and angles and the basic principles if length of one side of a triangle is known and angles are actively measured, the other two sides of the triangle can be measured. Next. So uh, for the history of uh, Russia geodeti, all triangulation network for peninsular measure, uh, the establishment uh, from the para system to support to support cadastral requirement for para Penang and Kedah. And you can see uh, starting from 1899, uh, another triangulation known as SA system was based on the baseline measured in Tanjung Malin and astronomical observation of latitude, longitude, and azimuth done at Bukit Asa. Then, uh, 1908, it uh, traversed uh, 1491 miles, covering the western side of the main range was carried out. Then, uh, the major integration of Pang was, was complete. Then, uh, at, in 1910, the triangulation was extended to the border with Thailand and then uh, the Johor major triangulation uh, after connecting uh, Pahang to Singapore was completed. And lastly, uh, in 1912, the triangulation survey connecting Kedah and Police was done. <laughs> Next. So, uh, Malaysia Revised Triangulation MRT uh, was used in Peninsula Peninsula Heights. It consists of 77 geodetic stations, uh, 240 primary stations, 837 secondary, and 51 tertiary stations. Uh, it adopts as a result of progress network, the computations, and primary translations. Uh, so, uh, the reference episode uh, was based uh, at modified address and in origin in Kertau. So, uh, as uh, we know, the map position for Malaysia is RSO and based on the Malaysia Geodeti is MRT and the cadastral survey for this sense, uh, we are using Casino Soldier. Then, uh, it used of in Peninsula Malaysia since 1948 for Geodeti mapping, cadastral, and other surveys. Next. So, uh, for rectified skew automorphy or RSO and Cassini Sonne. Cassini Sonne. So, uh, for RSO, uh, uh, the definition of RSO is uh, it's an oblique locator projection used in Malaysia for topographic mapping. Why? The Cassini Sonne, uh, it, it is a cylindrical tangent transverse equidistant and semi-geometry and it is used uh, in financial measure to utilize for cadastral mapping. So we can see uh, the difference from uh, RSO and Chinese so uh, for its functions uh, in Malaysia. So for RSO, uh, the projection is cylindrical and automatic or conformal. Uh, all parallels and meridians are complicated to long a given certain line. The scale is as approximately true, uh, exactly to along a great circle in its spherical form. And the RSO uh, is the best choice uh, for measure in terms of minimizing distortion while staying conformant. Uh, then uh, for Cassini Sotne, uh, the benefits, uh, as we know, uh, the benefit in terms of the scale. Uh, distortion for a place located away from the central meridian because uh, practically used uh, for every, every state in Malaysia. Next. Okay, uh, more about uh, RSO. The RSO projection tables for Malaya uh, were prepared by the director of colonial surveys uh, in Tennessee, England, based on the idea of development by Hot Hotting. 1947. Uh, the DSMM uh, has been using it for RSO topographical mapping projection uh, purpose uh, in the peninsula. 
and the best surface uh, reference system for the entire planet is provided by Enodatum, the scientific datum. Uh, and because uh, uh, for the information, uh, uh, firstly, uh, ISO uh, is using the data datum. Then uh, for the, uh, after the research and development, so uh, the scientific datum is used because uh, it is best surface uh, because it located origin link to the ori uh, Earth's origin. Then, next slide. For Cassini Sonne, the stair maps uh, projection uh, is using Cassini Sonne projections. Uh, as we can see uh, on the figure, so this uh, land node. So, uh, the functions of the function of Cassini Sonne uh, is used uh, for projection uh, about land lot. Uh, especially then uh, next for cutting large scale areas along the central meridian uh, transverse cylinder projection and in Malaysia uh, state uh, projection as it has its own uh, origin in order uh, to preserve the proper scale to put it in another way uh, each state has its own grid or coordinate however uh, the amount of distortion is very consider, consider away, consider, considerable away from its origin because uh, over the big areas. So, uh, uh, as, uh, as, as, as I mentioned before, uh, each state in Malaysia has its own, uh, its own uh, origin, origin base. So, uh, this has made uh, it difficult to create a national land base, especially with the de development of the use of geographical projection uh, information system in Malaysia. So one alternative uh, is to convert this projection uh, from Cassini Sotne to the RSO projection, which is a national projection system. However, uh, this conversion uh, process sometimes uh, will will show the discussion uh some errors in resulting the map so uh that's all from our group thank you